And I think in people's lives, there's only maybe a half a dozen, seven, eight categories that really matter. Most people, you know, they major in minor things. They focus on stuff that doesn't matter. They know more about this celebrity going in and out of rehab than they do about their own personal development. But I look at and say, if you look at your body, where you're starting, without that, everything else is out the door. You don't want to be richest man in the graveyard. That's not going to do it. If there is energy, if there's vitality, if there's strength, it's going to show up in your relationship. It's going to show up in your business. It's going to show up in your life. That's an area you got to master. You can't dabble. It's too important. Emotions are everything. I mean, you got a ton of money. You got everybody loves you, and your primary emotions are pissed off and frustrated. Then your life's pissed off and frustrated. It doesn't matter if you got a billion dollars or a million people loving you. Your life is not great. Relationships intimate relationships especially. It's where the most juice in life comes from. It's where the most pain comes from most people. It's worth mastering instead of dabbling. You know, really looking at what are you gonna do with your time and mastering your time. Instead of having a checklist, you cross it all off, you can mistake movement for achievement. I, I wanna squeeze out of that time what matters that creates value for me and for everyone I care about and love. What about your career or your business and the mastery of that instead of dabbling? Most, most businesses are dabblers why they don't make it. But the average person is not fit and healthy. The average person is not in a relationship where they have tremendous passion. They, you know, I'm not a dummy. I'm not a positive thinker. I know the truth. The average person is not successful in business. The average person is not earning what they want to earn. But you know what? Very few people have those things, but a few do. A few are happy, fulfilled, spiritually alive, financially strong. Their business is growing. They have passionate love affairs. Everybody has, the, everyone has different goals and dreams and desires. But as I traveled around the world to 100 countries, I started going, holy shit, I'm seeing the same problems. What's underneath it? I began to see that there are these same six human needs that we all have, the same needs. We all have a need for certainty, that we can avoid pain and we can have some pleasure, some comfort. We all need uncertainty. Mm -hmm. We need variety or we feel dead inside. If you're totally certain, you're bored. If you have total variety, you're like freak out. And it's not a balance. It's learning which of these you need more as a person. Everyone's developed a different set of values in that area. Um, need of, the need for significance, to feel unique, special, important, the need to feel loved, the need to grow, and the need to contribute. Some people value certainty at the top of their list. That's their center of their target. I don't want to do anything unless I know it's going to work. I don't want to do anything unless it's the same. If you change anything, they freak out. If certainty is the number one thing on your list, everyone has the same needs, but if it's number one, I know how your life's going to be. I can predict the direction of your life and therefore the destination to some extent. If you're driven by love first, you want certainty too, but love is higher, you're gonna behave very differently than if you're driven by significance. I have to be the one. So I look to see which of those needs are the top two on your list because they control your life. Yep. An extraordinary life is life on your terms, and there's two parts. Part one to have an extraordinary life is mastering the skill of the science of achievement. How do I take what I envision and make it real? And how do I do that quicker, faster, better, easier? The ability to manifest what you come up with and make it real like you've done with your company, yes. that's a skill set. Having done this for 38 years with you know 50 million people at this stage, I can tell you that the science of achievement, there are a lot of people that are damn good at that and they still don't have an extraordinary life. Mm. They have an extraordinary life, you see it as extraordinary, but I get the phone call from the multi-billionaire right. who tells me he wants to do this thing on his business, but what he really find out is he's miserable as hell and he's hoping somehow I'm gonna rub off on him on that side too. Right. And so I give him what he asked for, the change in his business, but I also give him what he needs, which is the change inside of him. So the second skill is the art of fulfillment. If you want an extraordinary life, you can't just achieve, you gotta be fulfilled. As simplistic as that sounds, but it's an art, it's not a science. Sure. It's a science to making money, come on. Any age, any color, any background, any gender, if you do these things, you'll have an abundance of money. You do these things, you're gonna have too much month at the end of the money, you're gonna have financial stress, right? right? Body, everyone's biochemically different, but you and I both know there's fundamental rules, laws, there's a science to the body. You violate that science, you're gonna have disease, you're gonna have low energy. You align with that, you're gonna have an abundance of energy. It's gonna affect everything in your life, it's a science. Fulfillment's not like that. Most people think, well, I want to get that because they've been modeling somebody else and that might work on how to achieve something. It'll never work for what to fulfill you. How many people you know, like you, got what you thought you wanted and you weren't fulfilled? Right. And that, I always tell people, success without fulfillment is the ultimate failure, the ultimate failure. Because if you go at something and you fail and you're an achiever, you don't fail. You go, I learned something, I'll just try something else. Right. I'm going to still get there. But when you succeed and you're not happy, 
I believe our lives are controlled by one force, decisions. Yeah. And the decisions we make control us much more than the conditions we meet. It's not the conditions, it's your decisions. Decisions of what to believe, decisions of what to do, decisions of what to give. I say to people, think about, you know, look back 10 years ago, five years ago, 15 years ago, and think of a decision you made that if you would have made a different decision, you'd have a totally different life today. Better or worse, I don't know, but totally different. Right. The most important decision you can make above any on the face of the earth is deciding that no matter what happens in your life, no matter what happens, you're gonna live in a beautiful state. And what the hell does that mean? It means that you're not gonna suffer. It means a beautiful state is that you're gonna be happy. The decision to say, I am not gonna suffer, that if suffering arises, pain's one thing, suffering's another. Suffering could be worry, it could be anger, it could be frustration, it's anything that takes you out of a beautiful state. And right. here's what people don't get. You can end suffering by stop focusing on yourself and focus on something you wanna serve greater than yourself. Your children, your wife, your mission, your life. You can get out of it in an instant because the nature of the human mind is to constantly compare things. Your mind, your brain is a two million year old device and it is not designed to make you happy. It's designed to make you, <laughs> it's designed to make you survive. Right. And that's why it's always looking for what's wrong. <laughs> and so my view is, if you're watching, if you're listening to this, my goal would have you consider something. Life is short. We don't know how short it's gonna be. But if you only had a week to live, I bet you wouldn't allow yourself to suffer over a little crap that makes you crazy normally. I think you would probably spend time with those you love, you would do what you love, you'd take on a sunset, you'd smell the air, you would take in everything in those so final true. moments that you possibly do. So my thing is why wait? You know, you're worried about what was done or what you should have done or what shouldn't have done. And you can end that in an instant by becoming aware of it and saying, I have made the most important decision of all. Right. I'm gonna live in a beautiful state. Because here's what's gonna happen. Anybody watching, you may lose a family member, you probably will. Somebody may get cancer. Your business may, the government might change the rules. They might change things radically that you can't even do anything about it. You might go bankrupt. You might get divorced. I don't I'm saying anybody will, but no, sure. no one knows what's gonna really happen in your life. Life's full of uncertainty, but here's what you can know. You can decide then what, what happens, you could have a great time. If somebody like Viktor Frankl can be locked up in Auschwitz That's and cool. come out of that in the experience finding joy in the middle of Auschwitz, then human beings have a capacity they've undersold themselves on. We think that the outside world determines how we feel. If, if people have to behave a certain way, if your husband or your wife or your kids or your coworkers or whoever, your boss has to behave a certain way for you to be happy, and if they don't, you're unhappy, mm -hmm. then you're always gonna be unhappy because the more people around you, the more they're gonna change that because they're all human, right. right? And if you have to be a certain way to be happy, <laughs> you're gonna violate it too. So my invitation is, as great as it is to achieve, more important to enjoy. Right. And if you can enjoy every moment in that state, when you're feeling loving and playful and passionate and curious and awe, you treat other people a hundred times better than when you're feeling frustrated, pissed off, overwhelmed, worried, stressed, or feeling sorry for yourself. Right. You're gonna be a better parent, you're gonna be a better lover, you're gonna be a better business person, you're gonna have a better life. So my soliloquy is, decide. Decide today and actually say, what if I cut it off? What if I said, I'm not willing to settle and I'm just gonna live in a beautiful state? Doesn't mean you won't feel bad, it means you won't stay there. You right. instantly change. That's doable.